afraid I don't know much, Daddy. Just what I read in the papers. No, in the papers, it's not very much. Shirley, can you better than that, To tell you the truth, Daddy, I was wondering if Dennis really did kill Chris Shaw or if he was just covering for Paige. That's just my own opinion. Anything else to tell me? No. That's it, Daddy. Nothing about the stocks you're going to sell on Iris' account? What? No wonder you wouldn't tell me why you wanted the $250,000. You know I wouldn't help you to raise the money for Iris to help pay Chris Shaw's blackmail. Did Iris tell you that? No, but as soon as I knew she was being blackmailed, I uh, figured out you were trying to help her. Well, I'm sorry. I can't figure out why Iris didn't call me or the police or anything but blackmail. Daddy, she was terrified. She was terrified that Chris Shaw was going to destroy Dennis's life and ruin Alex's reputation. I wanted her to go to the police, but she wouldn't have anything to do with it. You know how stubborn Iris can be. And you decided to help uh, raise the money? Yes. You got a heart of gold, honey. The trouble is you don't have the common sense to go with it. I know it was wrong now. It's too late to do anything about it. Iris pay any money to Shaw? No. He was killed before she could get the money together. Are you sure of that? Yes, as far as I know. Daddy, you don't think that Iris killed Chris Shaw to get out of paying that, that blackmail money, do you? Hello, Paige. What are you doing here? In Alex's office or in Houston? Both. Well, actually, the answer is the same on both counts. Business. With Alex Wheeler? Among other people. What kind of... <laughs> well, it's not what you think, Paige. I gave up that business back in Hollywood. I can't... I can't believe I'm seeing you here. <laughs> you do look like you've seen a ghost. I'm not really sure I haven't. Well, if you have, I assure you he's a friendly one. You know, it's funny the way things work out. What do you mean? Well, after all these years, you've finally gotten your wish. You've become a celebrity. It's a pity that fate hasn't dealt you your fame in quite the way you envisioned it back when you and I knew one another. Look, Peter, I don't want to talk about that, all right? And I don't want anybody else to know about it. Oh, you must know about Chris being murdered, then. It would be difficult not to. Particularly now that even the national news has picked it up. Yeah. I even uh, read somewhere that your husband had sacrificed himself and gone to jail for you. How gallant. Dennis is a wonderful man. Either that or he must be a very wonderful woman. So wonderful that a man would go to jail for you. Did he kill Chris? No, he didn't. <laughs> I'm amazed at such devotion, Paige. You know, if I hadn't seen your picture in the paper so often recently, I wouldn't have recognized you. You've changed. Have I? Yes. You seem more determined. The title is probably out to launch a one-woman crusade to see her husband acquitted. Well, I have a lot of help on that effort. Dennis is loved and respected by many people. Yes. And I suppose Alex Wheeler is just the man to head such a campaign. Is that where you were headed just now, to discuss some battle strategy with Alex? Uh, is Alex in his office? Yes, as a matter of fact, he is, but... Uh, he just asked me to leave. He's involved in a conference call. Told me not to wait. Oh, I'll, I'll call him later then. Could we um, have a drink somewhere and talk over old times? Don't mind, Peter. I really would rather not. Uh, 
talk about the old times. I'd rather forget about them. They were very unpleasant for me, or had you forgotten? No. I don't think I could ever forget them. Or you, Paige. You know, believe it or not, I've changed, too. I think you'll be surprised. Daddy, are you suggesting that Iris might have killed Chris Shaw? Of course not, honey. Don't uh, jump to conclusions. I'm just trying to get all the facts together that I can. Well, I think you'd better ask Iris and Dennis. Who else knew that uh, Iris was being blackmailed? Vivian, Paige, and I guess Dennis found out. Daddy, you don't think that Iris is going to be dragged into this mess, do you? She's already involved because of Dennis. Oh, I know that, but if the reporters find out that she was being blackmailed, it would be devastating to her. Did you talk to her today? She won't answer my calls. She won't answer mine either. Yes, I'm worried about her. It's so unlike Iris. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, Max. How's Buddy? Oh, he's fine. He's already talking about going fishing this weekend. Oh, that's a good sign. Shows that he's improving. Yeah. Stryker, what are you doing out here this time of night? Oh, Daddy was just leaving. Listen, you give my love to Mama, huh? I will. Vicky is going to be mad at the devil at me for being late. Uh, Max, uh, we never did have that uh, barbecue. Let's do it soon, okay? Yeah, sure thing. Bye, Daddy. Bye, honey. You've, uh, done very well for yourself, Paige. Well, I just work here, Peter. Uh, Dennis and I have been having a little trouble, so, uh, I've been spending a lot more time here than usual. What kind of trouble, Paige? Stop it, Peter! Just thinking. I know what you were thinking. It's not going to happen. Not now, not ever again. I've changed, remember? You're in love with your husband? Yes, very much. Is that so hard to believe? Okay, whatever you say. Besides, as I said, I've changed too. But I haven't forgotten you. You haven't told me. What kind of trouble were you and Dennis having? Oh, uh, just a little trouble, nothing serious. It wasn't over the film, was it? Why do you say that? Well, I know Chris had the film, and it would hardly be like him to leave it lying around gathering dust in his safe. I figured he'd try and use it against you some way, Paige. That's a pity about that film. Chris and I always had the highest hopes for endless passion. Somehow it just never got off the ground. Kind of like your start. Peter. Like so, are the papers right? Is Dennis covering for you? Did you kill Chris Shaw to get that film back? No. It's a pity. <laughs> I would have preferred that scenario. It would be so much more interesting than that stuff your husband's trying to sell to the papers. Um, so what, what were you talking to Alex about? I told you, business. What kind of business? My partner and I uh, lease freighters and tankers from Alex. Oh. So you were in the oil business. My, my, my. You've done very well for yours. Yeah, Jim and I have done all right. Jim? Yeah, my partner. Jim Lawrence. Uh -huh. 